Welcome everyone to the Menu.Docs YouTube channel here. Today we are starting a brand new series, Intro to JavaScript. So in this series, we're gonna go from zero knowledge. This is gonna be a Node.js focused course. So we're gonna look at JavaScript as a whole as a language and then get into some more Node friendly features and uh, libraries. So to get started, we're gonna start up by installing Node.js. So to install Node.js, you go to nodejs.org and you have their downloads page right here. For this tutorial, we'll be going through the current version, which is 16.3.0. So we're gonna go ahead and click on this. It's gonna go ahead and download. We're gonna go install by running the MSI that downloads and walking through the install process. So we follow the prompts through the wizard here, except the terms of the license agreement. You can change this folder to be whatever you'd like. However, for this tutorial, I'm gonna leave everything as standard. And then I'm going to go ahead and choose to click this box here. This I find just helps down the line when you need node GYP for any sort of packages you may be installing. So we're gonna go ahead and hit install here. Go ahead and give it administrative privileges to install on your system. And we're done. Node.js is successfully installed on the computer. And we can see this opens up a terminal, which is gonna let us go ahead and install all the uh, additional tools that we, we opted for in the install process. All right, then now that the dependencies have finished installing, we can go ahead and begin looking at some JavaScript. So the editor that we'll be using for this tutorial is Visual Studio Code. I think that this is a good editor for beginners. So we can go ahead and begin by creating a new file over here. Call this index.js. This is kind of a standard name among uh, Node.js applications. I've also seen main.js and server.js depending on the type of application that's being written. Also something I like to do is to open up a new terminal down here at the bottom. This allows me to go ahead and execute commands just as if I were to have a, uh, a command prompt window open. So if you'd like, we can go ahead and verify that node is, is uh, installed by going node-v. This will show that we have version 16.3.0 installed. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna write a hello world program. And what this is in any, any programming language, this is one of the first things you do to demonstrate how to write and execute code on your platform. So what we see down here this is often referred to as the console, and the console has several, several different methods, which we'll learn about what a method is later on. But for right now, all we need to know is that we can interact with the console by typing out the word console. And this is a keyword in JavaScript, so that lets us interact with the console. And then the console has a log method here, which takes in data. And what we can do with this is we can display information out to the terminal down here. So if we wanted to do a string in here, and we'll learn what a string is very soon. But a simple hello world program would be to console log out a string saying hello world. Should we save that by doing control S or going up here and file save? And then we can run our program by making sure that our terminal is in the directory of the file that we want. So see how we're in many tutorial documents, JavaScript tutorial, getting started. So this folder here, getting started, that's where our index.js file is. So we can execute the file by doing node and then the name of the file. So node index.js. And you can see here, we have in our console now, hello world, meaning that we have successfully logged out hello world. So that's all we wanna do for the today's episode. It's gonna be a super short episode, just giving the basics of how to get node installed and how to get your first program working on the computer. So this has been Doug with Menu Docs signing off. Hope you enjoy.